hello guys how are you hope you guys are doing good and you are learning a lot of contents through this channel right so what happens is what i see is when i uh, take the interview always what i see is people always lacks in you know explaining the framework explaining the design of the framework right so i thought of you know let's make a video which you can explain anywhere any interview any company if you go for you can just explain the structure of the project structure of the framework and believe me nobody will question you again right so i try to cover all that <clears throat> before to start this is brief about me okay i come from mechanical engineering background and i am from uh, you know bit bangalore uh, engineering college and i work as a software engineer i come from bihar so this is my facebook page like my facebook page subscribe my youtube channel okay and this is my github url there i upload all the source code and all the locations i always record at 720 to have the better visibility so before to start uh, what i would like to show you something so how you can study through my channel it's very simple to study through my channel uh, you you have so this is the url which which i give to the which i go, uh, give to the first page of my <coughs> first page of my uh, uh, video so this is my playlist url you can just bookmark this and if you go to the playlist you know you have segregated videos right selenium data structure code java so just go inside any one video and based on your choice you know you can study all the materials right so let's say uh, core java so you can you know uh, study the core java apart from that what you guys can do is it's my blog so for core java you guys can go through my blog it's a very uh, good blog which i wrote recently okay this is my blog okay for the core java if you go to the archive here so it's a bhanu uh, core java dot blog spot dot in here if you'll go if you have oops concept exception and string so still i'm writing it if you'll go to the oops concept you'll have all concepts related to oops and it's very precise it's very crisp notes okay so you can just go and tell in the interview this is about exceptions so you have the exceptions classes how happens types of exceptions so i wrote very crisp notes so that you know you can explain the same thing in the interview right so you guys can just you know uh, you, you you guys can just learn through this and uh, i'll make sure that i'll be updating all the topics here so you can just bookmark this also the one core java blogs now <clears throat> we'll start with how we should exp uh, explain the project in the interview right so because at the end of day our aim is to get the job so how to explain that i have drawn one you know picture here representations same thing you can explain in the uh, interview just say that <coughs> in any maven project okay or you can take this example as a normal project also here uh, i will i will consider that consider that this is a maven project okay you can same thing you can explain when you are using hybrid or data driven or keyword anywhere it will work out okay so because for a structure they are not bothered they just want to know whether you know the project structure or not right so while explaining be very good in that so say that this is by my root is form project is my root okay and it has two package this is src main java and src test java so you have two sub package in the project you have two sub package src main java and src test java then they will ask you why src what what is src main java and what is src test java say that the src main java will have only java code src main java will have only java code we will not be write any scripts in the src main java we will have only java code which will support our framework or which will help us to execute our framework right which will support our framework or which will help us to execute our framework in src main java in the src test java we have only test scripts we have only test scripts which we will execute through either test ng or junit okay so test scripts has src test java has only test scripts right then i will go then explain the component one by one say that in src main java as we know that every test case will have you know certain parameters which is common across right as we know that every scripts will have certain parameter which is common across for that we need to design a test base then then he will ask you what is test base she i will tell you test base what is test base so what happens is when you are working in selenium you you are writing you know 100 test scripts in every test scripts you know reading the data from properties file uh, navigating to the browser maximizing the browser 
then you have some weight conditions explicit weight implicit weight right uh, you have reading data from some other external source you cannot hard code in the script you cannot hard code in all the scripts right so this test base this test base will help you to achieve everything you can write everything in the test base you can write in the test base you can write how to navigate how to select the browser how to create the browser object of browser how to load the properties and how to do some extra activity which test case requires right so name itself says that the test base which will help us to to drive our test scripts uh, i would say the test base will help us to drive our test scripts or the test base will help us test base will help us to to perform the actions during automations right so this test base basically it's a base of the test so whatever class you will write whatever class you will write either main class or it's a test class right or it's a main uh, java or it's a test java every script should extend test base because that is the base that's where in the test base you take a decision like okay for which uh, which browser i want to make the object right what properties file i want to load what is the excel sheet i want to load on the runtime every decisions you take in the test base right so <coughs> test base will support your all the scripts as well as it will support all your java classes all test scripts and all java methods it will support so test base basically it's a base of the test where we take all the important decisions right it's like driver which will drive your framework then what is config see the config whenever we do automations there are certain parameters which is fixed for all the scripts say for example you have username you have a password you have application url you have a browser these four parameters are fixed so we can write in the or dot property it's not or properties the or dot property so we can inside the config we can create one properties file or dot properties and we can write all that url username password and browser then i will ask you what is the need of that say that this property will be consumed by all the test scripts no matter what scripts we have it will be consumed apart from that let's say in your framework you have a database connectivity right so database will have certain set of properties database also will have database url database username database password or you have database drivers right everything you can write in the or dot properties then what is app dot properties right the app dot property so it's not properties you can say that app dot properties because we need to be very good in the in the syntax if you write property intentionally i wrote this property because when you write app dot property it will not be considered as a properties file so you have to write that app dot properties okay app dot properties not property app dot properties so you can write some applications specific verifications let's say uh if i have to give an example i'll give you an example you have applications okay and in your page you have 100 lines of a string you have 100 lines of a strings which manually you cannot go and you cannot read line by line you cannot make sure that for every release the lines should match right so what we can do is we can write those strings in the app dot properties app dot properties and uh wherever we are verifying that right verifying the properties we can take the data from properties and we can verify right we can take the properties and we can verify so configurations is very important you can explain that configurations can have all the uh, the project configurations as well as the applications text which we want to verify we can write in the app properties and what is excel reader so what happens is whenever we do automations we supply data from the external source either it can be properties file it can be excel sheet so to supply the data uh, from the excel sheet what we do is okay what we do is <clears throat> one second yeah so i just you know i corrected you know few of the spelling mistakes i just corrected and i just enhanced the quality of this image so now uh, <clears throat> we are talking about excel reader right so the excel reader will help us to read the data from the excel sheet and to supply it to the test script because we can say in the interview that you know when we have some script which requires the data from the external source we can make one folder 
excel readers and which has you know all uh, excel readers classes right excel reader classes then we have something called page actions what is page actions it will be very new term for you guys so the page actions is nothing but in your applications your applications consists of number of pages right so the pages is nothing but the modules so let's say if we take example of of flipkart you have a uh, main vmail kids uh, then you have kitchens twice i mean lot of modules you have right so the, those modules are nothing but pages those modules are nothing but pages uh, if i have to give some other example let's say when we have to buy any uh, any any items from a flipkart what we do first we go to the home page then we click on the item we go to the product details page so home page one page product details page is the second page then we do add to basket add to basket is the third page and we have a checkout page checkout page is a fourth page and we have a payment page so payment page is a fifth page so this fifth pages will be common for all the modules right this fifth pages will be common for all the modules so we can say that we have a page actions and for every page write a java class so that will have only uh, methods which will which will help us to design the script so we have all the methods so home page let's say we can write lot of methods uh, in home uh, page the methods will be navigate to main navigate to women it will all, all comes under uh, home page then you have a login to the applications and you know click on the click on the product will come will everything will come under home page right so right from uh, right from you know mouse over clicking on the product right there will be lot more things will come under home page right again in the product details page so product details page there will be lot of methods select the range select the range see the product then you know select the color see the product then you know select the 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 size xl double xl right then select the type right so whatever options you see in the product details page you can make a method in the product details page method in page 3 let's say add to basket add to basket there could be lot more things uh, add more items continue shopping remove from basket verify basket verify the price in the basket so these are the methods in the add to basket now when we go to the payment page we have lot of payment types credit card net banking debit right so all the methods will write in the pages so that's what page page actions will take care so all the pages i wrote only four in your case there will be 10 there will be 20 there will be 30 pages right so page name very it should be very meaningful home dot home page dot java product details page dot java basket page dot java payment page dot java right that's that's how we have to write the page actions and what is custom custom listener the custom listener is very very important okay it is given by test ng what it does is so whenever we are running a script let's say we have thousands of scripts we are running that we never know when failure will happen right it's very unpredictable we cannot predict when the failure will happen this listener class will help us whenever there is a failure it will capture the screenshot and it will attach to your html report it will attach to your test ng report even when we write to when we want to write some message before starting of the test script we can write that that will be applicable for all the scripts when we want to write some message at the end of the scripts we can write that and that will be applicable for all the scripts then what is data right data the data is nothing but your excel sheet so let's say you have 10 scripts all the 10 scripts will take the data so we can write 10 excel sheet there like okay login excel sheet registration excel sheet or some other excel sheet or if you want to import some excel sheet you can write the excel sheet so the data folder will have only the data content either excel sheet or xml or properties file so properties file i will suggest you to write in the config itself do not write in the data data is just write the excel sheet then what is the report so when we run automations as scripts at the end of our automations as scripts we need to have a beautiful report right so we need to generate the report so whatever custom report which we write except then test ng we can write in the report folder then what is a screenshot so the screenshot is nothing but whenever any failure happens or whenever your test case is getting uh, passed your test case is passing or failing you want to capture the screenshot just for the proof proof of evidence right so you can make one folder for the screenshot there you know you'll be storing all your screenshots then test test script what is the test test scripts so <clears throat> generally uh, whatever pages you will make in your uh, project 
based on the pages you have corresponding scripts also every page will have n number of scripts so any page home page product details page basket page payment page there are n number of scripts right so we will again design here module 1 module 2 module 3 module 4 what are the what are what are these modules same modules home page is one module product details is one uh, module uh, basket page is one module payment page is one module and every module will have number of test script tc1 tc2 tc3 right so every module will have lot of scripts right now this project also we need to write at the project level test ng suite file what is test ng suite file so let's say you have hundreds of test scripts right in the java you cannot run you know all the uh, test scripts in one shot so this test ng will support you to execute all the test cases in one shot we can write a test ng suite where we can write all our test script which will run in one go then what is the pom.xml this pom.xml since it is a maven project okay it will help us it will help us to download all the required jar file to support the project it will help us to download all the required jar file to support the project then what is log 4 j dot properties this log 4 j dot properties will help us to log the required logs so whatever we want to log let's say we are performing hundreds of steps right uh, when the script is passing or failing we would like to know what are the stop steps has been performed and we can achieve through log for zero properties then what is test underscore output that is the html file generated by test ng so that's how we can explain the you know project project structure in the interview and believe me if you draw this diagram the moment you will draw this diagram uh, the person who is taking interview he will not have any doubt on you believe me he will shortlist in this round at least after that it depends on your technical expertise and technical capabilities so this is the first video of uh, how to explain the framework and i'll be continuing with you know page factory model going forward subscribe my channel okay like my facebook page and keep watching guys thanks a lot